Hey everyone. So in the box that uh, Joshua sent me that contained his bylock um, that I picked in this video, uh, there was this really awesome, beautiful uh, Schlag padlock uh, with keys attached that said it had been pinned up by Tahoe Picked. Now I've picked uh, one lock from Tahoe before and it was a really, really enjoyable pick. So I was kind of excited about this, but I could not shake the feeling that I'd seen this lock before. And then I saw this little tool. And that was what I needed to see in order to remember that I had seen Lock Picking Lawyer pick this exact lock and that it had a split core in it. And so um, I went ahead and threw it in a vise and picked the front of it. And sure enough, the core spun, uh, didn't open the lock. And so then I was absolutely certain that I had that same lock and um, that I would need to go ahead and use this tool to join the two halves of the core together in order to get it picked. So um, anyway, thanks for sending this to me, Joshua. Thanks for pinning it up, Tile Picked. And Lockpicking Lawyer, thanks for uh, picking it once so that uh, I didn't get confused and frightened when I saw what happened. <laughs> anyway, let's throw this thing in a vise and get it picked. Okay, let's see if we can get into this uh, Tahoe Picked split cord padlock. Pretty cool, pretty clever idea for a pretty clever idea for a challenge lock really um, at first I thought I would try to use a different strategy than lock picking lawyer did and, and pick the front part of the lock first and um, and as a secondary kind of measure go in and attack the back uh, after you know put the wire in after I got the front part picked but there just wasn't quite enough space uh, to get that wire snuck in there after I had got the uh, the first half to shear. So such as it is, we just went back and do a different method methodology and just thought it just thought it might be kind of fun to have another strategy in use. A video that represents a slightly different approach to opening the same lock. But, and honestly, that's the, probably the way I would have started with it anyway. We're done with the front now. And boy, it sure is hard to tell what's going on back there. Feels like there's quite a bit of serrated stuff in the back.
there it is. Okay. So we got it open and we, okay, we have the key so we can just lock it back up. All right, let's get the gutting equipment out. Very hard to tell what the heck is going on in the back of that lock. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I'm trying to imagine what I have to know to gut this thing successfully. I guess we... Plug follower should do it, I guess. Okay. Not sure if this is the same wire LPL used, but if it is, uh, cool. Thank you. I did not make a wire or anything. All right, let's get the key back in there. Here goes nothing. All right, that worked. Six, five, four, and now we're done with this. Three, two, and one. And we're done with this. So let's put this. Okay, pulling the top pins out now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five six and oh, looks like we have a few different types of springs didn't keep track of where they went but I'm gonna guess that we have standard spring here standard spring here short spring here uh, probably probably a short spring here at least that's how I would do it if it were me okay course gutted so let's drop it in for a close-up Okay, the core, it looks like we have threading in chambers one and two, and threading in chambers five and six, and the body, threading, uh, which was front? That one's front. All right, uh, threading in chambers, oops, threading in chambers one, two, three, four, five, and six, I believe. Oh, no, looks like everything except for five is threaded. And then we go for a real close up on the pins. Really nice pins. The key pins are. They're steel. It must have been a real chore to make them. So, great lock Tahoe picked. Um, as always, you are a challenge lock master. Appreciate the. Uh, appreciate you making it. And uh, Joshua, thank you so much for sending this my way. Um, we're going to get back to giveaways. I haven't done a giveaway in a while, so uh, let's see. Let's we'll start with this guy. This is just a kick cylinder. Um, I may make it into a uh, may make it into a challenge lock. Um, may not. Regardless, uh, in this video, there's an Easter egg that will tell you what to do if you want to get in line to win it. Thanks for watching, everyone.